The United States Army has formally committed to deploying the next-generation M1E3 Abrams tank, signaling a bold pivot in its modernization strategy. The new vehicle, intended to supersede aging armored assets, is slated to enter service within the next two to two and a half years, far ahead of the initial 2030 target. This accelerated rollout represents a significant departure from the Army's traditionally cautious and drawn-out acquisition methods. The decision comes after an overhaul of the Abrams upgrade strategy, abandoning the incremental system enhancement package SEP, upgrades in favor of a clean sheet design. This reimagined tank will better address current and future threats through a more agile and technologically advanced platform. The emphasis is on mobility, survivability, and digital integration, meeting the challenges of contested battle spaces and the evolving dynamics of modern warfare. Central to the M1E3's development is the incorporation of lessons from recent conflicts, particularly the vulnerability of legacy armor systems to advanced drones, precision-guided munitions, and loitering threats. These battlefield realities expose the limitations of traditional armor kits and spurred a push for integrated defense solutions built into the core architecture of the vehicle. A major contract was awarded to General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, in spring 2024 to initiate design and requirement development. The M1E3 will integrate innovations first showcased in the Abrams X Demonstrator, unveiled in 2022. Notable features include a hybrid electric engine aimed at slashing fuel use by up to 50%, an unmanned turret with an autoloader that reduces crew size, and onboard AI for battlefield awareness and threat prioritization. These technologies promise to reduce weight by approximately 10 tons compared to legacy Abrams variants, all while enhancing capability. General Dynamics is also working closely with the Army to bring modular, open systems architecture into the design, enabling easier future upgrades and faster technology insertion. This approach allows components to be updated or swapped out without redesigning the entire vehicle, key to staying ahead in an era of rapid military innovation. The M1 Abrams lineage, which began in the early 1970s, has continuously evolved to meet changing battlefield requirements. From the original M1 to the M1A2 with its improved firepower and digital systems, the platform has remained the backbone of U.S. armored forces. However, the Army now acknowledges that further improvements to existing models are unsustainable without significant compromises in weight and mobility. Army Chief of Staff General Randy George played a pivotal role in fast-tracking the M1E3. Upon reviewing a projected 65-month development timeline, he directed that it be cut by more than half. Army Chief Technology Officer Dr. Alex Miller echoed this urgency, pointing out the inadequacy of the current acquisition process in a fast-moving technological and geopolitical landscape. He called for an overhaul of risk management norms and a move toward a more responsive development culture. Another contract is expected as early as May 2025, focusing on key upgrades including a new powertrain, AI-powered targeting assistance, interior redesigns for crew efficiency, and deeply integrated active protection systems. One particularly complex element is the autoloader, a crucial technology for reducing crew size and supporting the unmanned turret setup. Engineers are working to ensure this system is not only functional but also reliable under combat conditions. The Army is applying a build-as-you-go strategy, encouraging its industrial partners to develop flexible, component-based solutions that can be iterated quickly. This model, which shifts authority to engineers and program managers on the ground, aims to produce combat-ready tanks right out of the gate rather than requiring years of refinement post-production. Despite the aggressive timeline, the M1E3 has secured a dedicated funding stream within the current five-year defense budget cycle. This financial continuity ensures that development and low-rate production can proceed uninterrupted, even during fiscal deadlocks. To maintain readiness and industrial momentum, the Army will continue producing the M1A2 SEPV3 through 2028, albeit at a reduced pace. The M1E3's technological foundation is rooted in a 2019 Army Science Board proposal calling for a $2.9 billion investment over seven years to build a fifth-generation combat vehicle. That roadmap envisioned capabilities that have since become core to the M1E3, hybrid electric propulsion, high-tech armor, 
AI-based systems, next-gen munitions, and low-observability design features. Beyond tanks, the Army's broader modernization push includes programs like the Armored Multipurpose Vehicle, AMPV, which began fielding in 2023 and replaces the M113 series. Other initiatives, such as the Bradley Hybrid Electric Vehicle and Electrification of Tactical Vehicles, align with the Army's long-term environmental and operational goals under its 2050 climate strategy. Globally, the U.S. isn't alone in reinventing armored warfare. France's Leclerc Evolution, Germany's KF-51 Panther, and the Franco-German EMBT represent a new generation of modular, digitally networked, and highly lethal tanks. South Korea is also in the race, with the K-3 concept aiming to be the first hydrogen-powered tank, equipped with autonomous navigation and AI-driven targeting. Meanwhile, Russia's T-14 Armada has yet to see meaningful deployment due to production issues and high costs. The M1E3 Abrams stands as the U.S. Army's flagship response to this new era of ground warfare, designed not just to match global competitors but to redefine what a main battle tank can be in the 21st century.